Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, collab time. Slice and Auburn Ale House. Gosh, Auburn Ale House is one of those breweries up north. Um, I mean, I grew up in Northern California. I've never been to Auburn Ale House, which bums me out, but I'm, the next time I visit up there, I'm going. So um, this is one of the best labels and the best beer names ever. This is the Vaccinator. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. It's the fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger from the Terminator. Love it. Uh, this is pretty label West Coast double IPA. We're on a West Coast kick. Love it. Um, what is the ABV of this? Uh, their labels are sometimes hard to read. Oh man, this font though. How dare you? 8.8% .8 I think is what it says. Um, it says double dose of mosaic strata Chinook and Amar uh, Amarillo Chinook. Look at you guys going old school. Love it. Um, I'll be vexed. <laughs> This is, that's the fucking best. The best. Don't care how you feel about vaccines. This beer name and label are fire. Uh, get to the hopper. <laughs> can on February 4th. Uh, today is the 12th. Eight days in the can. Courtesy of my man, Jared. I appreciate you, bro. Bro. We reviewed 100 beers tonight. We're using our sliced glassware because beer tastes better up of, out of the proper glassware. And look at that clear beer flow. Gosh, I I don't know about you guys, like, I just, I am on a freaking clear beer kick. Like, I talk about it all the time. I love clear beer. West Coast IPA is the first beer style I ever fell in love with. Um, and I just, like, after the last five or six years of just haze juice bombs, like, I just, <laughs> give me the crisp, give me the, like, crazy palate cleansing, dank, intense, this is what I want. I love it. So, <sighs> let's get into it. <laughs> Um, looks like the last couple, uh, West coast double IPAs we reviewed tonight, actually. Um, it's straw yellow from where I'm sitting. Um, it is crystal clear and there is a finger of fluffy bright white head. Looks awesome. That sliced glassware. So lots of hops in this one. Typically, um, slice doesn't use like a whole lot. They're usually like, you know, one or two hops, but this is one, two, one, two, three, four hops. I mean, I'm not good enough to be able to pick out all four of those, but whichever fat knows it in. Let's see what's got. I can smell it from here. And it says hasta la vista easy. Oh my gosh. Did I already say that? What did it say on the other side? <laughs> How drunk are we? Oh no, I'll be vexed. We're not that drunk. We're not that drunk. Oh, it smells so good. This smells fruity, but it smells dank. It smells resinous. It smells piney. It smells earthy. It smells hoppy. There's grapefruit. There's pine needles. There's tangerine. But it's got like this cool stone fruity kind of peachy vibe. Oh, it smells crisp. It smells clean. It smells fucking awesome. I can't believe this is almost 9%. Like, I guess there's a touch of sweetness on that. Oh, it smells fucking delicious. Let's go and taste it, Jared. Cheers. Thanks, bro. Love you. I love West Coast. I love as to live and die in LA. Little Tupac. Machiavelli. Yeah, this tastes exactly what it smells like. It's dank, it's resinous, it's hoppy, it's bitter. There's some floral notes in there, um, but it's got this cool tropical fruity, like I think pineapple, stone fruity, like peachy kind of a thing, grapefruit, orange zest. Yeah, that piney kind of floral thing right mid palate to finish. It's awesome. Oh, it's just, it's so clean and crisp and freaking delicious. It just smell, oh, it smells and tastes so good. Like, are you guys getting back into West Coast IPAs? Like, what's going on? I feel like everyone still is just like juice heads. It's been five, what are we, 2021? Six years? 
like it's been a while how are we not just like past that not that we're past it hazy beers are awesome but this is where it's at i love the sweetness on the finish there's like a little bit of breadiness that just kind of balances out all the hops that's fire i just love like i love the intense bitterness i love like the piney floral mixed with the fruity this is beer this is fucking beer and it's fantastic so we'll leave it at that not much more to say uh fun first impression from auburn ale house i mean this was brewed and canned at slice so i always talk about like i don't know what goes on with um collabs but this beer is fantastic the label art's fantastic the name is fantastic everything about this beer is fire so uh that's vaccinator from auburn ale house and slice it'd be interesting to see how many people drank this beer leave a comment let's talk about it appreciate you guys watching see you very soon cheers Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.